guys doing? That's what I'm doing now. All the way, almighty disco. Hey, how you guys doing? What's going on? Today I want to talk about gold and the dollar. And I just want to present my thesis and I think I'm doing fine. I think my thesis will work out. I might be wrong, but maybe not. All right, this is the dollar, the weekly time frame, and this is my count. We concluded wave one back in September when it started the correction for, for, for gold. And we did A, B, and five C's, and we concluded C with a two. And that gave us the first positive divergence in the weekly time frame since 2018. And let's look at the positive divergences and how many times it happened for the last two years. It happened twice, the big bull run from 2018 till last tw the, the 2020 from from 88 89 for the dxy to 107 that started the first wave up uh, and before that it happened back in late 2017 and it gave us a really nice bull leg before it made new low at that time and the they gave us a lot of almost uh four percent in, in in two months this is huge for a currency so this is definitely a bullish case for the dollar and, and it's the stars are aligned for the second wave conclusion <clears throat> and with the with the with the positive divergence that usually concludes uh, an end of a wave as I stated before and there is an inverted head and shoulder in the making in the weekly time frame uh, and it's very close to the neckline breakout so uh, head left shoulder right shoulder in the making so I think I, I explained it very well for the dollar let's look at gold in the weekly time frame and obviously I have five, what, five waves up to, to, to gold, yet there is a possibility that we have a, 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 another up leg because of this beautiful triangle. So it's a possibility, but that's why I didn't put the Iliad wave count here. It's a possibility, but it's not 100%. So let's talk about conventional technical analysis. In, uh, in the weekly time frame for gold, this is an indecision candle, and it usually shows uh, lack of direction, and there is a, a beautiful symmetrical triangle right here. It's extremely obvious to see. So let's talk about the momentum oscillators. Usually uh, for the last uh, two, three years, every time you have a bearish crossover in the MACD, which is not yeah, uh, there yet maybe la next week uh, you have a, a pullback severe one you have this one here you have this one here uh, the, la the famous flush and you have that correction from September to December 2019 and you have the correction from the correction started in Feb uh, 2019 to till the May 2019 and you have that flush uh, between uh, May 2018 to, to almost August 2018 and the same in 2017 September to December 2017 so this is conventional technical analysis so every time you have a bearish crossover in the MACD while the stochastic in the weekly time frame is below 80 you have a pullback so that's, that happened in the past. Yes, yet you might have uh, a breakout to the upside in gold uh, as a fifth wave. 
and you may not because it's symmetrical triangle that's why i just stated that and same is true with gdx the etf for gold miners uh right here uh, the same thing i did but this time i put the adx uh, and, and it's almost uh, bearishly crossing over even though it doesn't indicate a fast severe move yet uh, but it still indicates a pullback so the pullback that might come with a bearish macd crossover and the histogram is getting close to negative and also the same story with the symmetrical triangle and the same is true uh, almost almost all the time but it didn't happen that much for the adx so uh, my conclusion is the dollar is very very strong and the bear sentiment for the dollar is extremely obvious and uh, that that's why i'm thinking of a reversal uh, gold uh, has uh, its own uh, negative bearish uh, thesis yet you might have a fifth uh, wave up yeah, and you might not we might have concluded it right here too so it's uh, this is the the, the 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 thing that gives me the hesitance here is this triangle uh, otherwise i just want to sit down and have a good time and reminisce man Please, if you like this, uh, subscribe, and if you like it, push like. Don't leave me hanging, and let me reminisce. And remember, this goes forever, too. And I still love soft rock, too, and jazz. But this goes forever!